Today on Dylan Talks Tone, we are going to do the whole string finale. What strings am I going to use on my guitar? How's it going? My name is Dylan. I'm Leslie. You know Leslie. She was on my live show for all that time that we were doing that live show. And we're going to do something fun today. For the last seven weeks, we've been putting one set a week on my Breedlove Premiere over here. And we have been just trying out different strings. The fun part about it is that she's been actually taking them out of the package and handing me the raw strings so that I don't know what brand it is or where they came from or anything like that. Couldn't prejudge this one. No, because the whole thing is, it is my opinion that too many people look at packaging, they hear stuff on the internet, and they just make up decisions based on what other people told them. And if somebody says, that string is dumb, or I hate that string, or blah, 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 that won't work, then they just go on that opinion without ever testing this stuff for themselves. It cost me like $58 to buy six sets of strings, and then I actually had a viewer, thank you very much, uh, pay for a set. He said, I want you to try a particular set, and he ordered that set, and had it sent to me. So I really, really appreciate that viewer as well. As we go through this, we're gonna do a couple of things. First of all, we're gonna talk about all seven sets of strings that we tried on our acoustic guitar. You should know that for the most part, they are all phosphor bronze, except for a couple others, a couple specific types. They're all 13s, we tried the same weight, everything. I didn't touch the setup on the guitar, I didn't adjust the truss rod one time. Uh, I used the same pick the same type of pick every time for for the whole test and for the most part i played every set of strings for a full week unless i had a reason not to as we go through this whole thing and we talk about different sets of strings i want to hear two things from you number one i want to know what's the most important thing to you about the set of strings that you pick for your guitar and then the second set thing is as we talk about the different brands, I wanna know what your opinion of them is, what you found personally. Because one of the things about this test that's very, very important is the fact that, as you will see, this is different for everybody. I have results because of my particular style of guitar, how I play, all that sort of stuff. Body chemistry. Body chemistry, right. It all plays into it. The results may be different for you. But that's why it's important that we do this kind of test for ourselves. First of all, we're just going to run through one week at a time. Okay? Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. You just know, a recap. We did it, um, like you talked about them each week, but this is a good recap. Yeah, too. on Facebook we've been, doing, okay. we've been yeah. doing it. But let's just run through for those of you that are, are just now catching up on this kind of whole fun thing we've been doing. Uh, the first set, and I don't know what it, any of these are, I'm just telling you. Uh, I've got some notes here on my computer that I took. Here comes the fun part. Okay. Tell me what they all are first. I want to know what set number one is. So set number one. I guessed it. Deodario. I guessed the Deodario strings correctly. And here's why. I cheated because they had, col they had colored ball ends. And you know what's really interesting thing about it too is the reason I've been shopping for new strings is because of that ringy B string. And I, I didn't realize how badly it was doing it until I tried a second set of strings. So that's why I'm saying, don't just do what you did for the last 20 years. Try this. Like, do some experimenting for yourself. It's really fun. Set number one, Deodario's. And when we get done with this, I'm going to tell you what my favorite set was and what I think I want to put on the guitar next. Okay. Are you okay? ready? Set number two. Set number two. Interesting. The John Pierce acoustic set. I... I knew the least about this set of strings. Well, not the least, but almost the least about this set of strings. Uh, so those are the ones you said were mellow and had higher tension. Yep. Very interesting, but the tone was really good. Set number three. Set number three. Really? Ernie Ball aluminum bronzes. And I should correct myself, a customer actually, or a, a viewer actually paid for these too. He sent these as well. Cool. All right. Set number four. Set number four. Now this is also very interesting. Okay, Gabriel Tenorio handmade strings. This is very, very interesting and we're gonna talk about why in just a minute. Set number five. Set number five. The Earthwound Phosphor Bronze. And they made my fingers black. Very interesting. So why, are they I, it, coated? No, but there's something to the 
All of them are phosphor bronze, though. Uh, this is aluminum bronze. That's phosphor bronze. And that's phosphor bronze. Something about these strings, I don't know, it made my fingers burn. All right, all right. All right, set number six. I knew it. I knew it. Okay. I knew it. They felt slimy. They felt slimy. They felt like they had coating on them. They felt slimy. What's okay? So we're gonna we'll go through <laughs> we'll go through this, and I'm gonna tell you some things. And well, let's just do the last one. All right. I already know Seven. what the last one is. Okay, and I actually knew what these were too. So <clears throat> clear tones. Okay, so now let's talk about the anatomy of each of these strings, and I'm gonna go back through this now that I know what they are. I had no idea. I tried to, and I, I tried not to. I tried to guess at first, and I knew it wasn't gonna work. This is really, really fun. And actually, week one, you were adamant until later in the testing. You were adamant. I have it written down. That they were elixirs? Yes. Yeah, because they were so weird sounding. Yeah, no, that is really true. Okay, so let's do give you some backstory. And I know this video is a little longer than our normal ones, but this is a lot of stuff and a lot of things I really want you to think about. And and take all this and then go and say let me do this for myself because the string is the number one most important thing in my opinion on an acoustic guitar especially to your tone because it's how you interact with the instrument so let's talk about the differences and why I came up with the opinions that I came up with and it's really fun to understand that now that I know what the strings are so week one Diodarios this makes sense this is the whole reason why I wanted to change strings my Breedlove came from the factory with these Diodarios on it. I've been using it for about two years, but I've not played the guitar very much. I was like, you know what? I just want to try something else. I made a post on Facebook. Everybody's like, put elixirs on it. And I'm like, I don't like elixirs. And Leslie's like, <laughs> Leslie's like, you're just saying that because you don't like elixirs. You should really test this. That's what inspired this whole thing. And I wanted to do it without knowing what was in the package because I didn't want my brain being told by packaging or by anything else, just feel and sound, that's it. So this has been super fun. Week number one, makes sense. Week number two, John Pierce. I don't know anything about these strings, um, but I'm gonna tell you that this was my second. I only have two favorite sets out of all seven. This is my second favorite set. Uh, this was really good, really good set of strings. The only thing that made them second favorite to me was the tension was a little higher. And it made it a little bit harder on my fingers to play the way I like to play. I could go down to 12s, but that's a whole nother ball game. And I love my 13s and I want to stick with 13s. This is my second favorite set. These aluminum bronzes felt completely different from anything else. I really, really dig those a lot. Gabriel Tenorio, this is the set that somebody actually paid $25 for this set of strings. I put them on the set on the guitar, I immediately hated them. Didn't like them, couldn't stand them, they're too stiff, they felt like rails. I let other people play this guitar, they was like, it's too stiff. Now, I know that he has a lot of loyal followers and I know that it sounds like I'm bashing on his product. I have a 25 and a half inch scale guitar with a pinless bridge and I have a whole lot of reasons why my particular setup and how I play is these are not for me. When you think, when you go and look at all this stuff, all this data, you gotta remember that you might like a stiffer string than this. So maybe this is for you. The only reason I didn't like them is because they were stiff. That is really the main reason, but I didn't, I couldn't wait to get them off the guitar. Ernie Ball Earthwound, they sounded fantastic and they felt fantastic. But they made my fingers black and they just annoyed me and I just didn't want to deal with it. Why do you say Oh, wild? earth wood. No, it is earth wood. You're right. I just didn't like them uh, because they made my fingers black. There again though. That's body chemistry, yeah. It is, right? So if if you are sweat different or you live in a different part of the country or who knows what, sweat. you might really like these. In fact, I really, really did like them except for that. Elixirs doesn't even need to be t said. Um, I don't like coated strings. I just don't, I never have, probably never will. I could pick them out even though I was wrong the first time. Uh, once they, they were on the guitar, I immediately understood that they were coated 
they, they felt funny to me. They did not stay in tune as well, which I, that really surprised, surprises me now that I know that what they are. For sure. Um, that's very interesting. Now let's talk about clear tones. This almost made my top three list. And in fact, I would say this is my third favorite string. The reason they did not make my favorite list, but this right here, these ha were my favorite string for a very, very long time. We actually put these on all of our guitar builds. Yep. We put these on all the Dylan guitars. I really, 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 really like these strings. The reason they're not my favorite is because when you first put them on, they're not a coated string, they're a treated string. So when you first put them on the guitar, they're on there now. They have like a feeling of stuff on the strings that you kind of like have to wear off the string for it to feel good. Did not like that. And then the other thing I didn't like, and I'll show you a close up of this, the windings on the strings at the ball end came too far up on the string. You won't, probably won't have this problem if you have a pin bridge, like on a Gibson or on a Martin I, or a Taylor. I have a breed love, I have a pinless bridge that makes the ball end come up further into the guitar and that makes it to where this sticks out and I can feel it with my palm in my hand. These almost would have been my favorite set of strings if it weren't for those two things. That being said, I would highly recommend them because they last a long, 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 long time. Uh, but they don't feel slimy and they don't chip and have that weird fuzzy feeling when they get old like the elixirs do. Um, these are, as far as a treated string, these are way better. And I do kind of have a bias towards them because we used to use them on our brand. Um, if your guitar is going to sit for any period of time and not be played, these are fantastic for that. These are any ball aluminum bronze, man. Let me tell you what, did not see it coming. And I'll tell you why. Because they're not phosphor bronze, number one. Number two, they're a hex core string. If you go back to our other video on that we'd made a few weeks ago about construction of strings, hex core strings are supposed to be stiffer. They're supposed to be less, less flexible and less touch tone to them. These are completely the opposite. These are the slinkiest, softest, easiest playing, easiest fretting strings I have ever played on an acoustic guitar in my life. I love these strings and I will go tomorrow <laughs> and buy another set and put them on there. They are amazing. They are loud, they play good, they sound good. Uh, I don't know, they're my favorite. And then closely followed by the John Pierce and then the other thing that we just talked about, the clear tones. So from like sound this. alone, from sound alone, I like those. From sound alone, the John Pierce's are my favoritest. I mean, me too. That's what I'm yeah. telling you. Really? That's interesting. I mean, I have to listen to you play it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, they are my favorite also. These have a weird sound to them, and they sound a little better as they get older, in my opinion. You get four or five days of playing them every day, and they sound a little better, in my opinion. Uh, now, let's talk about longevity of all the strings. Obviously, I cut them all off after a week, but I will tell you, none of the strings that I played would last any less than two to four weeks of average playing time. The longest lasting strings, in my opinion, would be uh, the Elixirs, obviously, because that's what they're known for, but I can't stand them. Um, the Clear Tones and these Aluminum Bronzes, I think they'd last quite a long time because they have a really weird brightness to them when you first put them on that mellows slowly over time that I think these would actually sound really good even as they got old. What does this all mean? It means that you need to do this yourself. I know that I have opinions about everything that we just said here. And so now it's your turn to go in the comments and tell me what you think. The reason I did this experiment is because I want you to do this experiment too. Because I know for sure that in the comments you're going to disagree with me on some or all of what I just said. I know that you're gonna say, I tried the aluminum bronzes and they sucked. I wanna know why. Not for me, but it helps us to understand how different everyone is. Because the construction of the guitar, if you go back through the last five or six weeks of our YouTube videos, talking about how strings can change by construction of guitar, scale length, how your hands work, all, you know, your, your chemical makeup of your hands, all that kind of stuff, 
all means that this is a very personal decision. And I did this experiment on purpose to show that just because somebody gets on the internet and says this is the best string doesn't mean that it necessarily applies to you, your playing style, your guitar, or any of that kind of stuff. So put in the comments below where you disagree with me. I'm actually asking for it and tell me why because it's helpful to all of us in the community to see the differences in the choices that we make for this kind of stuff. I think this is so fun and so fantastic and I want to do more of it so put in the comments below if you have an idea like this for a video or a series of video and maybe we'll make a video just for you. Do me a favor and hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it and then that way you'll know the next time we do a cool video just like this one and you can be a part of our community. Do me a favor, also check out our Facebook page, or Instagram, all that stuff at Dylan Talks Tone. And until next time, just keep playing your guitar and let me know in the comments what you think.